Well, the voice to Parliament is a choice for Australia to uh, recognise our First Nations people in our constitution as the original custodians and to give them a permanent voice to the Commonwealth on matters that affect them. I trust the Indigenous voices I've heard in the Yes campaign, I trust what they've said to me and I think that it's a really important step because we can see that what we're already doing is not working. There is a huge gap of social disadvantage with ab Aboriginal people and this is our opportunity to change things. It would be nice to be able to have a, um, have a deliberate process of, of, of making sure that their voice is heard and represented. <laughs> it's not much in a, in a document that is basically a very high level framework that is just allowing change to happen in the future. And it has been requested by Aboriginal people and we need to listen and act. We need to try something different. This is something different. The only stuff that does work is the stuff that local people have got some input into and they say, I know how to fix this. The last sentence of the Uluru Statement specifically invites all of us as Australian people to walk with Aboriginal people to make a better future. There's no blame, just hope. Your vote should come from your heart because the invitation from the Uluru Statement was given from the heart.